What's up, everybody? I'm back. It's Joe. Um, today, I'm going to be working on my wife's car, actually. So, I'm changing the front and rear mounts on her 2014 Chevy Traverse. Um, I don't think it should be hard, but every time I say that, it ends up taking longer than expected. So, I started while the sun was still up, and we will see how this job actually ends up being all right, let's go. All right, for go. today's job, I decided to go with OEM parts, and I actually got them from the dealership. They were just a few dollars uh, more expensive than if I had ordered them online, which isn't a big deal, because now I've got OEM parts that I know will work. Um, so we've got the front engine mount, AC Delco, and the rear engine mount. I'll put the part numbers in the description below when I'm done um, and their positions are actually pretty pretty straightforward it's pretty easy to find them we'll go into the car here and this is the passenger side or right side if you're overseas and this here is the bottom of the front motor mount um, you can probably see it better from that side all right and the rear motor mount is just just back there right there is the rear motor mount um, so I think there's another access hole right down there and so we'll be trying to figure out how to get the top bolt off of that one um, this one you can reach from the top of the engine bay this is just located right below the oil filter let me get on top really quick so you can see yeah so right below the oil filter is where this mount is um, and you can see right through here is where it's gonna be at so you can reach the bolt I have a swivel that I'll probably end up using and a couple extensions um, but I'm gonna get down there and try to pull this out right now I have to get this top bolt with a wrench and this gives me enough space to do like quarter turns this. there we go but it's a top bolt so once it's loose like it feels like it is now should be able to just take it out with your fingers just like that got it And down here, just getting it with the ratchet through this little access hole. Got it. So now this mount is completely, oh, there's the fluid from the inside. This mount's bad too, um, which is why we're replacing it, but shouldn't have fluid on it. And the front mount is this big dude. All right. All right, I got the first mount out. And you can see it is most definitely bad. It shouldn't be dripping fluid or having this much play. I want to show them the new one. Yeah, here's the new one. No play. Uh, about the same height, but yeah. Just no play. Alright, so now I gotta wiggle this back in. Um, I took this one out by there's an engine brace um, right behind it. I'll just show you really quick. Alright, we're going under the car so I can show you. I have it jacked up. Here I use a piece of wood, but there's a little bracket here that I have the jack on and the mount goes here in this big gaping hole now you just have to work it out and then turn it slightly to pull it through this gap here um, so now I have to work the new mount in you can see the mount uh, where it goes up there so I have to work it in from the side then get the top um, 
the top little stem in through that hole and the bottom through the other hole jack it down and tighten it uh, see how easy that is all right so it took a little bit of wiggling to get the top you have to get the top in right angled and then the bottom pin you kind of have to work it back um, and once you have it in there's a, a pin on the bottom of the mount I can show you on the old one there's this guide pin here and it sits in a little hole that's on the subframe so you can't put it in wrong um, so if you can hear that that's the guide pin sitting in the right position uh, which is what you want so this one's in I'm gonna finger tighten the top um, and then move to the back mount all right here we are on the passenger side to get this um, rear mount and it's right here there you go right behind the steering arm so you can reach the top bolt with a wrench just like we did the front one and this bottom one I'm gonna get this with the ratchet I used a three quarter inch socket and wrench for the front um, I'm hoping the rear is the same and it's a smaller mount so I'm hoping this one goes in and out a little bit easier than the last and then I can sit this down and go have dinner all right for this rear mount uh, it's a little bit smaller a lot tighter up here so I'm using a 5 8 for the top and the bottom is a 3 quarter inch socket So I got that top bolt off with the top nut. Boom. Um, took a little bit of contortionism, if that's a word. Uh, now I'm using the three quarter again on the bottom side to remove the bottom nut. And then I'll jack up the engine the same way I did for the front and hopefully pull it out easier than the front. Let's find out. And yes, contortionism is a word. You, you getting me cranking it on video? <laughs> cranking it. <laughs> All right, I got the rear mount out. It was a pain in the butt, but I got it. And now I have to get the new one in, but this one's not bad like the front. It's got a little bit of play, but it's nowhere as bad as the front was. There's no fluid leaking, um, but it's good to replace them both anyway, so that way they'll wear evenly, I'm assuming. Um, that's how I'm doing it at least do what you want replace the bad one if you want but I'd rather replace them both personally for my cars um, all right so time to work this one up this is gonna be a pain oh, let's see so I got it behind all the suspension stuff and now I have to get this top piece into its guide hole. Alright, it looks like I actually need it jacked up a little. Well, maybe not. You guys have to get a beat on that. Alright, so I got it on the other side. The rear mount sucked to put in. Uh, you have to lift the engine up and then you have to get the top in first and then slide the bottom down. So uh, I was having a hard time getting this one where it goes, um, but I got it. So now tightening everything up and we'll see if the engine is still doing, uh, making noises when you take off. You heard, I heard like the plunging noise of the bat mount obviously. Um, and also a little bit of shaking. So let me put it back together and then we'll find out. We'll go for a test drive. All right, so we got it all back together. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, got a little bit of swelling, nothing broken, no cuts. We're good this time, a little redness, but um, 
So I'm going to start it, I'm going to put it in drive, put it in reverse, and we're going to see how much flex there is in the engine. There should be not as much as there was previously. So let's do this really quick. All right, and just from that little test on the inside, it feels a lot more stout. So there's not as much play that you can feel from the driver's seat as there was previously. So motor mounts were bad. Obviously one of them was super bad. So good thing to do. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and we'll see what I get stuck working on next. Hopefully it's a WRX.